Hey everybody, it's me, Margaret. When it comes to things like a three needle bind off in knitting, I can do it, but I discovered I can achieve the exact same thing with a crochet hook, and that's what this tutorial is about today. So I've taken it off the machine, and the first thing you really need to know is that it needs to have right sides together. So here's my working yarn. I think it'd probably be best if I flipped it like that. Yes. Okay, now here's the deal. Your waist yarn naturally curves under, which will be to our advantage because it'll get itself out of the way. We want to join this row right here that is caught in the waist yarn. See how it's in the middle? You have the waist yarn here and a stitch right here and then waist yarn again. This is the row that we want to join all the way around. Now in this case, the Addy King size has 46 needles, which means that an even number gives each stitch a partner. So we're going to be joining them side by side and directly across all the way. Now I'm going to use a J crochet hook which is a six millimeter. It's really a little big for this Karen Simply Soft yarn but I want it to be a little looser because you don't want to be tight or it will kind of bow your seam and we don't want to do that. Now the first thing I'm going to do is untie my join here. That's where I added the waist yarn and I want to get it loose from my working yarn. Okay, but this is a stitch. Okay, if I had not, if I had continued on, it would just be a stitch like this. So I'm going to treat it as such. Pretending like that I'm sticking my crochet hook in the stitch when I'm really just wrapping it over. And looking for the stitch that's right beside it, which would be this one. That's its partner. So I'm going to put these two stitches on my hook. Remember, you have to hold this stitch. And also remember, the beginning of every project is always the hardest, getting it started. Okay, so you have two on your hook. You yarn over and you pull both of them through. Okay, that's the first step. Now locate your next two partners. There's one right there. And here's one right here. So... I put them both on the hook. Oops, get rid of the waist yarn. Yarn over, pull through, and then this time you're just going to slip. Slip that last stitch off. Now you can see it's getting easier to find your next stitches. There's the next one, and here's its partner. Yarn over, pull through two, and then slip the next stitch and continue on with your partners that are right directly across from one another. And slip. This is exactly the same thing that happens when knitters use a three needle bind off. They join these two and then they slip that off. Okay, so you'll continue this all the way across, joining your two partners and slipping off that. So go ahead and go all the way across and I will meet you at the end to show you how to finish it. Okay, I have my last four stitches. One, two, three, four. So those are my two partners that I will finish up. And grab your two partners, pull through, slip and then the last two always a little tricky because they're tighter did I get it? no I split that one this big hook is giving me troubles okay partners yarn over join and slip 
Okay, grab your scissors and then you want to cut off enough that you have a comfortable amount to sew in. Pull all the way through and tighten. Now what you should have, this is the inside of your hat, and what you should have is a chain. Can you see that? Is a chain that goes along. That's what you leave behind as you're joining. Now, because I used waste yarn, and yes, I would use waste yarn even if I loom knitted this, um, there is a bind off that I have seen um, for loom knitting that is, is pretty much this very thing, but it's very awkward to do. And I think you don't have as much control over your stitch sizing, although I've seen experts do it just beautifully, so it may just be me. Another advantage to doing your waist yarn at the end of your project is, is it's so easy to remove. You just pull it like this. At the beginning of your project, you know, where you put your, your band, your, your brim, that has to be cut off, but at the end. All right, so there's my seam. Isn't that nice? Okay, so of course I would do it like this, straighten it out, and you can take the blunt end of your crochet hook and try to poke your corners out. For those of you who sew, oops, I didn't show you that, you kind of poke your corners out. And for those of you who sew are familiar with this, when you um, join when you're sewing, you need to poke your corners out. But um, see, that makes a nice, wonderful seam for the top of this square hat or of course you could be joining um, separate pieces even flat pieces so there you have it